Hey YouTube model community, this is Jay Miller from Humankind Model Works. Right now we're here in um, Hobby Town, USA. We're going to take a gander at what we got going on. This is where I get lots of my model crafts and whatnot, and my figurines and my cars. But right now we're in the paint section. And honestly, we are here to pick up some black Tamiya paint for the 06 Shelby GTH. Now, I was wondering, should we go gloss black or semi-gloss black? Semi-gloss black mixed with some clear or just go maybe straight gloss black? I don't know. But the Tamiya is over here. So we do have the, the main variety over here. You got your model master, you have your testers, your model masters, your um, one coat testers, lacquer. Model Master over here and a variety down there as well. But the paints that we're going to be looking at is right here. Now, I was asking before about um, gloss black. They don't have it, so I'm wondering should we just go sunny gloss black? But we do have regular black, so we could actually get two of these regular black and mix it. That might be an option. So, you know what? That's what we're going to do. We kind of really don't have a choice. Yes, Pa? Yes, Pa. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to look at some figurines, some Warhammer stuff, just this way for a second. That's the prize. Warhammer, Warhammer, Warhammer. This part up here. You know what I'm and then they got some other figurines down here as well. Your starter kits and whatnot. Try, um, try, tri Tricknan, Chaos Marines. This, who I love, Chaos. I'm all about Chaos. But they have other figurines here as well. If we shoot down here just a little bit further. We got a whole bunch of different stuff here. But as a hobby store, they got trains, they got the crafts for the kids, they got different stuff over here. They have RC stuff, they have drones. They got drones and whatnot. Now, see this? Yeah, yeah. Here's your fun stuff. Okay, now we're gonna take a quick spot to the car area. Bless you. But that was, remember that's $105 for one model. One dude. Did you also made a metal? No. What about this one? This one. What about here this here one? is the it's car very uh, nice Again, something here. about the same cost as that. I can still repair it. I wouldn't be as angry because it's not like, you know. <laughs> right here, the aisle right here is directly behind me. The armor, the military. I don't know about you. Military, military, military. For you armored folks. Also, these will be a part of another future build playlist. So be able to look out for that. Aha! More stuff. More different type of um, painting genres. The figurines and whatnot. We've got your Marvel, we've got your Super, um, Superman. Yeah, future builds also as well. This is a good look out for that as well. Now, we'll go to the famous Star Trek. Yeah, everybody loves that. Trekkies. Get your nerd on. And Star Wars. At some point, we'll be definitely doing one of these bad boys. I guarantee it. Mm -hmm. That's about it here in Hobby Town, USA. Oh, something else I want to show you guys as well. These guys right here are about to play a little bit of Warhammer, but um, Chris here, the guy who works here, he's gonna give us a sneak peek at his army. Yeah, see, that's the wolf. Cool. That's what you got. Show us what you got here, Chris. All right, so over here is Perturbo of the Iron Warriors. A Contemptor Dreadnought armed with a Kahiri's Pattern Assault Cannon. You have your Rhinos, you have your Artillery, you've got your Command Squad with your Leader, which is a 
Get that that's a Praetorian. Praetorian design dog no, whistle. Wait, I'm a Praetorian. Legion Terminator armor. Over here we've got the Legion's specialized version of Tyrant Siege Terminators from Forge World. Over here, Tartarus Pattern Terminators. More Cataphracti armored. Cataphracti ter Pattern Terminator armored guys with close combat weapons. No. We've got Christian two Legion uh, we went to go get food for Predator tanks. We have the Tormentor, which is his personal transport. And then all of these are rhinos, and we have two land raiders. And in the box, I have a bunch of different guys. I got the Devastator set from the store. These guys are very helpful when you're blowing up stuff, like uh, tanks and enemy walkers, that kind of thing. And then you've got your basic infantry. This is one of my sergeants. And we're going to be using these guys oh, no, in 40k, 30k, you name it, kill team. They're really fun in both 7th and 8th editions because Iron Warriors were one of the best back then. So, lots of fun. So, and there you go. Alright, man, we appreciate that. Um, this is right here. This right here is my buddy right here, Chris. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Let's do another little spin around. I'll wrap it up. Yellow bag. On the ground. On the ground. That's not yellow. That's not yellow. Yes. Well, we appreciate you guys coming down and following us here. We got, um, this is our new playlist called Roll Building. We're coming to our um, local hobby town and picking up some things that we need for the table or some new ventures and some new builds. So we thank you for coming along here with us, and we'll catch you on the next one. Later. Peace.